Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm going to be walking you through how to use your participant center today. The first thing you'll want to do is go to cyclethesecoast.org to access the 2021 website and hit login in the upper right hand corner, this blue button. Go ahead and enter your username and password that you created when you registered. If you forgot what those are, you can use these links to the right or email us at cyclethesecoast.long.org. When you log in, it will take you back to the home page and you'll want to hit the particip participant center up here on the right. So a few things to do first off the bat, um, you want to make sure your goal reflects what you'd like it to be. I have mine at 400 because I want the Winter Circle jersey and the only way to get that is to raise $400 or more. If you see that this red opt in to emails message is in your participant center. It means you are currently opted out and you will not receive any emails from us. Um, so you won't get any information about Cycle of Seacoast. You'll definitely want to opt back in and you should be able to choose exactly what type of emails you receive in the future. Just email us if you need help with that. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are descriptions about the different types of participation options for Cycle of Seacoast this year. Uh, along with downloadable information, including your bike inspection form if you're participating in the ride on May 2nd, and some incentive levels, which are always really fun, fundraising tips and route maps, Eastern Mountain Sports locations where you can get your bike inspected, um, and this way to connect to your Facebook fundraiser as easy as a button click. Make sure to watch the Facebook fundraiser video uh, located above before you do that. So, what I'd start with is my personal page. If you look at this red banner at the top of the website, you'll see all the way to the right, my personal page. And what this is, is your personal page URL where people can donate directly to you. So if you copy and paste that link into a new browser, you'll see it says, welcome to Melissa's page. Um, and people can donate directly to this website. So think of it as your own website for getting donations. And you can use this link on Facebook. You can put it in your email. You can put it wherever you'd like to help get donations. So the verbiage in here is going to mimic what is in here. So if you'd like to update that, go ahead and delete, add. Make sure you hit save, add a photo, and you'll be good to go. Again, just so you can see, this is where your, your URL is which is your personal page. So going back up to the top, if you just take one step to the left, it says my progress. And this is simply just showing you how much you've raised so far. You can see in here, I have the name of the donor as well as the amount that I have so far. I have a ways to go. My email. So what this is, is a few um, pre-populated emails for you to take advantage of if you'd like to. Um, solicitation is probably what you're going to be using in the beginning is trying to get some donations. So let's say I choose why I ride, for instance. So I'll click that, hit next. This is the verbiage. You can edit as you'd like. And then you might not have any contacts in your participant center, but you can add a contact one by one or import all your contacts. A third option is if you just don't click anything and click next down here, you'll see this is what the email was going to say. You could simply just copy and paste that into your email rather than using this email if that's easier for you rather than uploading every contact. There are also some thank you emails in here for people that have fun rate or donated to you. Um, and if you go back up to this top banner, going one step left again, my social, There are some pre-populated messages here for your um, social media. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, you want to post or even email um, a message. It will pre-populate for you. You can schedule them. You can thank donors. Um, another cool thing to try out is our Cycle for Air app. So if you are in your um, app store and you type in Cycle for Air, it will pop up. And it actually has a lot of the tools that you're finding here in your participant center. Um, 
but it's a little bit more mobile friendly. You can use the Participant Center on your mobile device. Make sure to try to use Chrome at all times if possible when you're on your desktop. Uh, if you have any questions at all, I'd be happy to help. Just email us at cyclethecoast at lung.org. Thank you.